and I also want to propagate this bluebird and this is the only bluebird I have at the moment this been attacked by a powdery mildew but I already treated this with mancozeb so it's all right now As you see there's some spots there and the white stuff that you see in there that is the mancozeb that I spray in this plant so guys I'm going to beheaded this echeveria here echeveria bluebird so as you see it's really tight the leaves are very tight and it will be hard for me to stick my snips there I'm going to try this knife steak knife so I'll just put this in here I damaged few leaves so I cannot use that those leaves now but I managed to cut this bluebird so now what I'm going to do here guys is clean this one so really remove those bits but maybe if you're strong enough guys you can handle the fishing line but because I'm not that strong and that fishing line is keep snapping so I decided to use the steak knife now oh, there you go but we have a very clean cut in there so now what I'm going to do with this guys I will remove some of this leaf carefully I hope we can manage to remove them cleanly so we can propagate it Oh, there you go so we got a clean cut perfect then we have to get this one this one okay nice cut get two nice cut there guys so you just do that all the way until you expose a little bit of stem uh, for to make room for the babies to grow or for a new plant to grow now they're clean cut they're getting easier to remove all this leaf that we can propagate okay i think that's perfect now some of this leaf got a spots i'm just going to spray that with manco zeb or you can also use this metallated spirit i have metal and spray that so we can still use the um this leaf for propagation so guys that will be fine now i have a perfect beheaded bluebird now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a cinnamon on the top here where the cut is to seal the cup the cup and it's like this cinnamon is like an antiseptic to this uh, succulent cuts here so there you go and the same thing with all of this one you can put some cinnamon there if you like to now so that's done guys so we have a lot of leaf propagation here that we can propagate some of these are not but that's all right so this one guys we cannot propagate this one because that's not a clean cut so at least i damaged a few but it's all right i have saved a lot leave in there to, to propagate and then with this one here same thing i'm going to expose a little bit of the stem to stick in the soil so we will save that let's see how it goes for that there to so where we remove the leaf that that's where the uh, roots will come out that's all good that will be fine we have a little bit of stem there that is exposed that we can 
just stick in the soil now what will I do with this nail is that's what we left out I remove a little bit of farina there but that's fine I'm not going to plant this one straight away guys I'm going to leave at least few days before I'm going to plant this in the soil so now I'm going to put some cinnamon there just to protect the open wounds from bugs and whatever insects that love soft tissues there so that will be fine there you go the head one is already here i planted it in this white pot and i put it here under cover in my shelving that receiving morning sun so since it's still early in spring then they don't still get the a uh, strong sunlight or a strong light from the sun so it will be fine here there you go looks happy at the moment there and see it's still fresh it's already cows and then just leave it here for a while there you go So this is the bluebird that I had chopped guys. So after three weeks of cutting it or having a head chop propagation, it's it already sprouted. So I only have one baby there and I have whoa it's another one there. So two babies coming up from this side. If you can see those little bumps there and another one a bit bigger bumps. So that's what happened when we head chop or we prune our um, succulent. It will give you more pups. So that's the update for this after three weeks. Right guys, so the next one that I'm going to propagate is this PVN. So as you see, I have struggled with my bluebird and I used the fishing line but didn't work for me. It break three times for me, the fishing line, so I used the steak knife. So let's uh, clean the steak knife again here with methylated spirit. With this PVN guys, you see there are lots of dry leaves underneath and then I put some rocks in there just to help the head from falling down because the head is really heavy. Now we will find some area where we can stick our bread knife. So perfect spot will be this head here like this. If you can remove some leaf nicely in there, maybe try, but if not, just stick the knife in there. Okay, some leaf damage. Oh, there you go, guys. So, managed to cut that one. So, I lost maybe a few leaf, but so right. So, I lost that leaf and that leaf, but we did manage to get a nice cut there. See, so we had to remove this. So what we'll do now, we will going to remove this leaf here. Let's see if we can still use this leaf. Yep, that's all right. We can use that. Let's try. Let's try to use that leaf. 
make sure the leaf is it has a nice cut so this one we'll see I don't think if we can use that but I still try I will not throw that so we will expose a little bit of this stem guys I'll try that expose expose a little bit of stem for the new babies to come out or new plant to come out but you have to at least leave few leaves as well yeah I might leave at least probably maybe four leaf now we have a lot of dead leaf in here so make sure you take them off and clean your area and I think this one needs every potting so I'm going to change the soil as well now what we'll do with this is I'm going to put a cinnamon on top just to seal the wounds and protect it from whatever bugs that will attack this plant this cinnamon acts like a antiseptic to this plant all right so that's done all i need to do is to replace the soil now let's look at this this one here oopsie now this one is all right all the dam is there but I'll still try to save that so we had to clean the area here see now we'll remove these flowers we remove some leaf first there that's nice nice cut we'll try this I'm not sure with that look hmm there but yeah I don't think that will going to survive so we'll get some more here to so just expose a little bit of the stems to stick in the soil there you go so we will end up with that there are lots of flowers coming out so I'm going to cut that so we can concentrate in growing this PBN. Okay, so that's what left. And I'm going to remove this. So this one, guys, you can also propagate this leaf here. And then take this one off as well. And there's more in there, but we'll leave that one. We will cut that when it grows. So check underneath. Check for aphids and mealybugs. Alright. That's all good. Put a cinnamon. There. Now with this one here, I will going to save this leaf as well and I will try to propagate this leaf so we're not going to waste any leaf guys we will going to try to grow them so I think that's all right this one here let's try this as well okay so let's going to change the soil of this pvn guys to give this pvn a good start in propagation so i guess i will just get a little bit of the soil not a lot so as you see the soil is not so wet it's just moist so this will be fine right, guys so I decided to put this PVN in this terracotta pot Right. 
all right guys so we have a fresh soil in our pbn and then i'm going to water that and it's good to be put away set aside in undercover in not in a shady area because this is already used to the full sun so i'm just going to put it undercover and the pvn after three weeks of propagating or head chopping now this is what it produces so this one have a lot of babies even underneath there the leaf uh, propagation we didn't have any result but with the stem or the head chop one we have heaps of result so that's the result after three weeks so it's worth it guys really worth it if you want to extend your collection with that certain succulent certain plant then try the head chop one and then propagate the leaf and propagate the top as well and that's what we get so guys, with my uh, mini greenhouse with the grow light here, this is where I put my leaf propagation. <laughs> I don't put them straight away to the um, soil because sometimes I don't have much time or enough time to do it. So I place them in a shell like this here in my mini greenhouse with grow light. <laughs> now, the, P, uh, the bluebird that I propagated is still not giving me any sign of sprout or roots so i'll still leave it like that mm. and as well as the pvn still not giving me any sign of babies so it will stay here for a while So that's it for today guys and i would like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for always supporting my channel and also to those who always visiting and leaving a comment and messages in our comment section thank you so much guys for interacting with me your messages are my inspiration and to those who are not subscribed yet please consider to subscribe and click that notification bell so you will be notified every time we have a new video and i hope to hear from you in our comment section leave me a message and i promise i will get back to you as soon as i can take care all and god bless you bye